I'm using uh, my renovated giant twist batteries 36 volts I noticed that it did not have the power that I expected so what I did was measure the voltage over here or better said at the output of the, the case and I noticed when it was charged that it was only 40.04 volts so I suspected that uh, maybe one of the groups of cells was the reason but I checked the voltages between this point and that that was 4.04 between this one that 4.04 etc etc so all cells were charged equally well balanced so I started to suspect the charger and uh, to be short what I did now was open the, the large box of this charger made by Sanyo but especially for Giant. Uh, you can open it with Torx screws so you need a set of these and um, then you will find a small white potentiometer over there and when you twist that you can screw up the voltage to uh, a voltage that is meant to be uh, this charger uh, should be set at 41.5 volts and that may be something more or something less but not one volt less because that would mean 20% less power on board of this battery so um, I'm charging it now with everything open and I will monitor uh, because this voltage is still going up gradually uh, while it is charging uh, I will monitor uh, if I have this setting correct now and uh, if yes, then uh, my lack of stamina uh, has been solved. The charger has stopped charging now. It's quiet. Uh, voltage is 41.4 now on the battery. Um, and um, I, think, I think I twisted it about half a turn, so quite much but uh, you should not exaggerate uh, I don't know until what voltage it goes up but you should keep as maximum 42, 42 volts if you do not have the battery open you can leave it in its cage and measure the voltage at the output you can measure the voltage over there so my voltage is measured now directly on the battery where everybody uh, can check it without dismantling uh, the, the battery itself. So here's your voltage, then he starts and that's the charging voltage it is set at now 41.7. 